Hey y'all, what's up? It's Jessica. Welcome back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Today's video is a try on haul. This video is sponsored by Pretty Little Things. So thank you so much for sponsoring this video because the girls out there know I love clothes. You know, like the relationship I have with my clothes, it's it's a bond, okay? An unbreakable bond. Some of you guys probably have done your fall fashion. You know, you're ahead of the curve. And then some of us are on the late bus because we're just like, I don't know what to buy. There's so many trends. There's so many this, that, and the third, and I just don't know what to select. I selected a few pieces pieces for pretty little things that I think are kind of like your essential fall pieces that you should add to your wardrobe for fall so without further ado let's dive into the video up first we have this faux leather dress and I think she is gorgeous this deep red color is such a fall vibe I love this color because I just feel like it just gives like a luxe look to your clothing definitely I'm feeling those shoulder pads it really gives it like an 80s slash 90s vibe I'm definitely getting like thriller vibes I don't know why is that just me like an updated less scary thriller that's what I'm getting from this and I just think there's so many different ways that you can style this especially this color it's not a neutral but it's a fall neutral I just feel like this color can go with so many different things and because the color is just so luxe I think it'll just make your outfit just stand out that much more I also picked up these snake print boots from pretty little things and I just thought these two together girl okay walking around downtown LA serving looks I thought this was so cute together I would also wear this with like black thigh-high boots or even like a mid-calf boot in like a gold metallic color oh my God. with like a kitten heel I so would wear gold with this because I think it would look so cute. And even if you wanted to pair this with like a turtleneck underneath, that's how you really get that fall look by layering. Fall is all about layering. So I would layer this with like a turtleneck, maybe like a solid black turtleneck or even a navy turtleneck, a cream turtleneck, or even something printed like a snakeskin turtleneck or like a leopard print turtleneck. Ooh, leopard print, yes. And the fact that it is a button dress I so would serve this like a layering piece, like a jacket. I would just unbutton her and do a look with that. And I just think, oh, the look I have in mind right now. Denim on denim. So say like you have denim jeans, a denim top, and then you just kind of throw this on as an overcoat with like a snakeskin bag. And even if you want to throw on like a little fedora with her with that ensemble, hot. I also picked up this bag from Pretty Little Thing, and I really love this bag. It's structured, it's like a crop print, it has this gold chain detail, and I just think, that, and it has like the little clasp right here. For it being inexpensive, I just think it does look a little bit expensive. Like, it, she's giving you the shine, she's giving you the luxe, she's giving you that quality. I think you can never have too many black bags in various structures. Um, I, I just think that's just one of the things us girls do. We have multiple black bags but I love this one with the gold hardware because I just feel like it gives your outfit a little bit more of a updated look so you can have your everyday black bag and then you have like your evening bag or the bag that you wear when you want to kind of like stunt on them just a tad bit this bag is going to do that so I love it I would wear it so like this like that's cute even with this outfit I could get away with wearing this I just think this bag is really really cute and the price girl the price is right when I saw this next piece on the site y'all I said I need to have that meow okay give it to me now I am obsessed with snake print it is a print I feel like it's not going out of style like well at least for me it's not okay I don't care what the magazines say she's staying in my wardrobe forever this coat screams Jessica because she's just a lot of fun I love anything snake print I'm just a girl who just is obsessed with snake print hence snake I just love this color a lot of times you see snake prints in neutrals like taupes tans maybe even like gray and black you rarely see her in jewel tones or rich vibrant colors and so when I saw this teal I said yes I need to have her because she is definitely a fall staple like do you know how many outfits I can do with her when I saw it, I was like, I definitely want to mix colors with her. So I would definitely wear this with like another complimenting bright color and then maybe even mix the prints. So like, for example, this is a snake print. I would totally wear like a more muted leopard print with this 
because I just feel like they kind of balance off of each other. It gives you that maximalist style and I'm definitely a maximalist at heart. Um, I do have my moments where I'm a minimalist, but for the most part, I think I'm a maximalist. And I feel like mixing those prints and mixing those colors just give you just gives like a fresh like street style look and I just know for a fact that that look is going to serve okay I would wear this also with like a basic all black outfit like maybe a black hoodie and like some black sweatpants I'm that girl who would wear something like this with like a hoodie and sweatpants and some sneakers or a, some boots and it just gives like a fresh take on model off duty type of style like a model off duty in the cooler months um, the girl who's just like carefree, she's edgy, she's fresh, no matter what she puts on, she just slays. That's the type of vibe that that look would serve. And then I would also do it with like a neutral color, like maybe like a, a camel, ooh, a rich camel. That would look good with this, wouldn't it? Like a camel colored turtleneck with like navy trousers. Do you see what I'm doing? Or even like a camel neck turtleneck with like a more neutral snake print trouser. There's just, you see, with this one piece, the mini looks, and that's the thing about when you're shopping, like never buy anything unless you can make multiple outfits with that one piece. If you're only gonna wear it once or one way, is it really a smart investment? Not really, you're kind of wasting money. You wanna make sure that you can transition her through seasons, you can transition her through looks, through the time of day. It doesn't matter weather, whatever. You wanna make sure that you're getting the bang for your buck and that you're not wasting money. So always think about the multiple ways that you can wear an item before you buy it. That's a tip to save you some coins. All right, up next I have this suit and I love Suits. Again, I can get a lot of wear out of these two pieces. I can wear them together, I can wear them separate, which is why I love matching sets, especially a suit. If you are a girl, I don't care if you don't work in corporate America or if you're not that girl who has that type of lifestyle, girl, own you some suits. And there's inexpensive ones. Like you want the you want the relaxed. I would I would consider this more of a relaxed suit. It's less structured. Um it's more wearable, it's more like your everyday type of suit. It's more of like throw it on kind of casual vibes or even like a more structured one, something that's tailored to fit your body. But girl, a woman has to have her suits in her closet, okay? I would definitely just wear these together, uh, maybe with like a cute little mule heel or something and a nice little bag, either like a croc bag would look cute with this or even like something with like a monogram print. I love the fit of this, even though it's oversized and I'm, and I'm super petite, I just feel like with an oversized look, it just gives it a little bit more edge. Like it, look, it looks less like I'm trying so hard. It just looks like I was meant to do this thing. And with it being oversized, I can transition this from a suit to a dress. Do you see what I did there? I would totally wear this as a dress, maybe belt it to give it a little bit more shape. I wouldn't wear, if I wore, if I did wear this as a dress, I wouldn't wear it unbelted because I feel like it just kind of swallows me that way. With the pants, it kind of balances it, but just by itself, it just looks like I'm wearing my dad's coat. However, if I belted it, it would give it a little bit more shape, a little bit more style, still with that oversized look, but it cinches the waist. And I would definitely wear that with like knee-high boots, cute little bag, ooh, and some dark sunglasses. I'd also wear this with like a turtleneck underneath with the trouser pants and maybe tuck the, the pants inside of like some cowboy boots. There's that look too. There's so many different looks and vibes you can do with the suit. Gone are the days of the traditional wear of the suit where you just have to wear it with like some low, very not so cute kitten heels. Now is the time to express your individuality with your clothing and so you don't have to stay within this box of I can only wear a suit this way. There's multiple ways of wearing a suit let me know if you would like a video on the many ways you can style a suit if you like that let me know i will put a poll right here and take that poll so speaking of fall a turtleneck is fall's best friend okay this is like the essential basic piece you need for fall there's so many look i don't know what i was thinking as a kid i so hated turtlenecks i just did not like it i felt like i was couldn't breathe, claustrophobic, it was just, a, it was a mess. Now that I'm older and I'm wiser, I see the benefit and the many different ways that you can style a turtleneck. And it is that piece that just elevates your style. It instantly makes you look chic. Like, 
no doubt. I, now I selected this navy color because navy is a basic that I feel like most people, you know, gravitate more towards black. But they leave out navy. Navy is like a basic that goes so great with brown. Like navy and brown, they're like peanut butter and jelly. I selected this high neck one because I just knew that I would love it. And although I love it, I can't fit her. So which is why I didn't try her on. Um, this is a size small, a UK size eight, which I believe is a US four and I still can't fit her. <laughs> And I know normally I wear like a two in top, so I just think this is like made small, but she's really, really small on me. So I would say definitely size up two, maybe even three, if you want a good fit for this one. I'm definitely gonna get one that is um, a little bit bigger so that I can fit her because it was a challenge putting this one on and taking it off. Even pairing it inside of this blazer, like that would be such do you see how well the two colors go together? The navy and like this khaki taupish color, like it goes so well together. So chic, I would totally wear this outfit. Up next I picked up this cargo utility dress. I thought this was so cute because I just feel like I could do so much with this and I also don't own anything like this in my wardrobe surprisingly. I would thought I had something like this but I actually don't have anything like this which is cool because I've been wanting something like this so I picked up this one because I just feel like this dress was so cute it comes with a tie at the waist which again I live for and even if I didn't want to use this tie I could always belt it with a belt that I own or I can use like a belted bag now this is a piece I would definitely wear with a turtleneck like I would so wear this with a turtleneck I think that would just give such a cute look to this like so cute and have like the turtleneck just kind of like sticking out from the top such a great look with like some high boots maybe like a patent boot or maybe even like a snake print boot because you're so basic up here so you want a little razzle dazzle at the bottom with like a printed boot totally work and I can see her with like a crossbody like a crossbody bag with this like just hangs right here at the hip would be such a cool look so I definitely love this piece it's obvious that I love snake print because I picked up some snake print from the site um, first let's talk about these boots because I don't own boots that look like this actually I don't own I don't own knee-high snake print boots and I've been wanting one like this like the ones I have are more cowboy shaped these are totally not cowboy and I wanted something a little bit different that I could wear with like those oversized pieces I mentioned. And I don't have anything this color because I normally gravitate towards like taupes and browns when it comes to snake prints. I don't have anything that's so cold like this, like with this gray. But girl, I think she'll serve so many looks during the fall. It's a comfortable shoe. The heel isn't that high because I cannot be bothered, especially these days. Like I, I can't deal with the heels, girl. I need something comfortable. This is a heel that I can totally walk around town in without feeling like my feet are about to fall off. And I love this wide opening. I love this shape right here because it's gonna just give it a lot more of a structured kind of look. I don't know what I was doing with my legs. I was trying to demonstrate. I've been really wanting a rain hat for the longest and I wanted a black one, but when I saw the snake print one, and you know I'm obsessed with snake print, I just had to get it. So I got it without knowing how I would really rock it, but I'm sure I can find, girl, I can pull looks, okay? For those rainy days, which I don't know when that will be in California, but when it does. This is just a good way, even if it's not rainy, to just style your look to kind of complete your look without doing the most. So for example, if it's one of those days where you're just like, I'm missing something, I don't know what it is, try a hat. A lot of times it's just the hat. A hat just makes everything just come together. I don't know what it is about hats, but I'm obsessed. I have a few hats and I wear them all the time. Like I, I just love hats. I love the fact that I can put on something and look put together without doing my hair. That's number one. It literally takes your outfit from zero to 10 real quick. All right, y'all, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is all for my Pretty Little Things try on haul. I picked a lot of cool pieces from their new end, so check them out. The link will be down below. I cannot wait to style and play around with these pieces to do some looks, some shoots. I love doing photo shoots and giving you guys style inspo, so I'm definitely going to be doing some more style inspo videos on this channel. If you have any suggestions or if you have any questions in regards to style, let me know in the comments 
section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not subscribed, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!